Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Exposing the Narcissist. Today I'm going to be talking about a few ways the narcissist's phone has become a weapon. But this weapon can also destroy them too. So please listen until the end to understand what I'm talking about. Because narcissists have addictive personalities, it should not be a surprise that for many of them, their phones have become a necessity. And it's not because of their work or studies, but because it is an essential source of narcissistic supply and their treasure chest of all their latest and past conquests. The narcissist's phone gives them unlimited access to huge amounts of narcissistic supply whenever they need it. As a result, it would be very difficult to separate a narcissist from their phone. It is the last thing they look at at night and the first thing they reach for in the morning. Their phones are everything to them. And I know that nowadays this is the case for a lot of people besides narcissists. But it all comes down to the purpose or the reasons why the narcissist's phone is such a vital part of their life and how they use it to manipulate and control others. That is why boundaries are needed now surrounding any pictures or videos being taken of you because the narcissist will not hesitate to capture you in a compromising or degrading situation and then put it out there for all to see. The narcissist's phone has become their diary and they will keep pictures and videos forever. So when you've forgotten, they have not and they do not respect anyone, so you cannot trust them to hold any intimate data of you. So I want to share some tips on how to avoid a narcissist getting hold of any inappropriate pictures or videos that you wouldn't want the world to see. The first thing we need to remember is that relationships are not guaranteed to last forever. And with that in mind, it is okay to have boundaries with regards to what images or videos are captured of you. You also have the right to request that anything be deleted that you are not comfortable with and do not take their word for it. Make sure the deletion is something you witness for yourself. Also, with new romantic relationships, do not feel pressured to share intimate photos or videos. Any requests for digital nudes should be met with suspicion. And it is important to remember that someone who truly loves or cares for you will respect your wishes. Secondly, in social settings, if you are not comfortable or do not trust someone, do not let them photograph or video you. Politely decline and do not allow them to coax you into it. With narcissists, there is nothing innocent when it comes to flashing the camera. But to be honest, when it comes to photos and videos of ourselves, to a great extent, we can control who has what. We can decide whether we allow someone to capture or possess such imagery. We can be more careful who we surround ourselves with. We can avoid putting ourselves in certain compromising situations, etc. I know it can be a lot easier said than done when in the moment it all seems like good fun. But in this age of technology and narcissism on the rise, we have to be extra careful. We have to have boundaries when it comes to who and what we allow to be captured of us digitally. Because all these devices are readily connected to the internet and then it can be quite difficult to get them removed. Narcissists and other toxic individuals will not hesitate to ruin your life by posting inappropriate images of you online. 
If this is something that has happened or is happening to you, it is very likely that the law will be on your side. So don't be afraid to report it to the police. This is becoming more and more common by the day. So authorities have been putting measures in place to protect and defend people from such a sensitive crime. So do your research for where you are at and just know you are not alone. I also did this video a few years back exposing some of the things narcissists get up to online. I dealt with cyberbullying, online dating, etc. The fact is the internet is now the narcissist playground and we have to be extra careful with our own online activities and what information gets uploaded to the internet. But what I also want to highlight is that when it comes to narcissists and their phones, the danger can go both ways. Because what we need to realize is that the information on a narcissist's phone can also be the cause of their own downfall as it can expose them as well. Their addictions, their lies, their perversions and more. But this is why they will guard their phone with their life because after investing so much time and information into these phones, the narcissist has created for themselves a weakness. But I guess that is why some of them are smart enough to have more than one phone. One to give the impression that their lives are squeaky clean and another that carries all their darkest secrets. But in either case, you cannot be fooled into thinking that the narcissist's phone is not a weapon and that they will not use it against you. We have to tread carefully and learn to establish boundaries with regards to what photos or videos we allow to be taken and shared because Narcissists will not play fair and they do not care how they hurt you. But to conclude, for narcissists, their phones have become essential in the managing of their everyday lives and affairs. Their phone is the key to their control and flow of narcissistic supply. They juggle relationships with the swipe of their hand. They constantly have access to fresh new sources of supply, but their phones hold even more power when they have captured intimate, personal or compromising data of the people in their lives because it permits them to have a sense of control that in times past would never have been possible. But as I said before, it works both ways. The narcissist's phone is their key to many possibilities that will boost their ego and satisfy their cruel desires. But it is also the key that can unlock their darkest secrets and expose their evil agendas. As always, I hope this was useful Please share your thoughts and experiences below. Many thanks for listening.